I am Amar Barui, working as a Bangladesh Adventist Union Mission Treasurer. We are so much blessed through Kathleen Kachuk Trust Fund is making a difference in our community. And it's nice to be able to come and visit your school to see some of the benefits that have been realized from a planned gift from a lady named Kathleen Kachuk. She left in her plan money to be able to benefit Seventh-day Adventist education in Bangladesh and also nutrition for students in schools in Bangladesh. Uh, welcome to our mess campus. This is our main entrance gate and road. We have two ponds where we are raising some fishes. We don't have much land to grow some vegetables. From the Catherine Kachu Fund, they gave some money to raise this land and uh, prepare for the garden so that we can grow some vegetables and we can provide these vegetables to the students in the cafeteria. Her gift is now being used as she remembered the students of Bangladesh. Kathleen Katsu Trust Fund making a difference in our community. <laughs> our orphan students are going able to go to the boarding school and they are, they are getting good education. They become a Bible worker, they become a ordained pastors. This way they are getting help from this Kathleen Katsuk Trust Fund. They are able to know that Jesus Christ is our Savior. In 1910, a lay person, not a pastor, not a church leader, just a person, a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, paid his way to Ukraine and spent six months preaching and holding evangelistic meetings. Sixty families became members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Remember, this is 1910, okay? It's over 100 years ago. Two years later, after these families became Seventh-day Adventists, 50 of those families moved to the United States. One of those families had a daughter. Her name was Kathleen. This young girl grew up going to Seventh-day Adventist schools. She went through Seventh-day Adventist University, became a teacher and taught for the Seventh-day Adventist Church all of her life. Now, if you think about when she was teaching, during that period of time in the United States, women teachers didn't get paid the same as men teachers. She got paid less. But she was very careful in managing her money, like we're studying that she was a good steward of her funds that she received. She, of course, returned tithes and offerings, was faithful, and each time she received, every month when she received her paycheck, she would put a little money aside for savings. And over her long life, uh, she saved quite a bit of money. In 1968, she was impressed by God that she needed to make a plan for her possessions. And she was praying for God to lead her on how she should structure that plan where should her possessions go after she didn't need them anymore? Now, some people say that if you make a plan, you're going to die right away. Well, she died at 101. <laughs> so just because you have a plan doesn't have anything to do with the day you're going to die, okay? 47 years after she created her plan, she, that's when she passed away. It was 2015. She never changed what God had impressed her to do as far as where her possessions should go. A portion of those possessions were designated for Seventh-day Adventist education and nutrition for students in Bangladesh. Kathleen Kachuk has a vision for Bangladesh, how to make a difference. I am Pastor Dilip Hagidok, the Stewardship Director of Bangladesh Adventist Union Mission. Welcome to this, our Academy Manasavara Adventist Seminary. This is our children's center. These girls are having the morning devotion. After morning devotion, 
they will go to the cafeteria and we will see how they enjoy with the breakfast. They can get energy and they can develop their good health. And we are lucky and we are so happy. Kathleen Kachu. And most of them are coming from very poor background and they love to study Adventist school. Whenever the students come, even though they have school dues, the school principal never send them home. Every student, they have to work. They have to work two hours. This is our requirement for our student. They can learn how to grow from the land, how to use fertilizer, how to plant the seedlings. This is our education program. We have this year 630 students. They are admitted and they are getting good education. We got some money from Kathleen Katsuk for their nutrition. Three times in a week we gave eggs, gave fruits, banana and we also give some fish with curry for their mental development. When she died, this single school teacher who never married and never made very much money had two million United States dollars and a portion of that came here to Bangladesh and your students have been benefiting because of this single school teacher making a plan during her life of how to keep God's possessions working for God. You have benefited from her making a plan in 1968. I mean, she also benefited Myanmar, right next door to you here. They'd lost the school during the, the general's period of uh, history. It was taken away from the church. And they were able to build a brand new school. They have a brand new chapel that'll seat 400 students. So all of their students now in rainy season can be under a roof when they're having their chapel and their church services and Sabbath school. It also built a brand new girls hostel at the university or the seminary there in Myanmar. There was also a school built. Kathleen Kachuk has a vision for Bangladesh how to make it different. Now her dream is become fulfilled. Oh, my God.